And now we're talking about your health. Many people believe getting a mammogram can be scary and they feel it's time consuming and inconvenient. But you know what? Mammograms are the only kind of early detection that has actually been shown to decrease a woman's risk of dying from breast cancer. I'm in the same boat as many of you with a mammogram due right now. That's why I decided to go through the process with Scottsdale Medical Imaging Center to show you step-by-step -step how it works in part two of our special series. It all starts when you walk through the doors. They're usually coming in for a screening mammogram and the options would be 3D or 2D. So when they come in the room, we basically review the exam that they're gonna have and then review history with them. And really answer any questions they might have about the exam while they're in the room to try to make them feel comfortable. Colleen Wilson, manager of Women Imaging Services, takes me through the process. Okay. I'm getting a 3D mammogram, the latest technology to screen for breast cancer. 3D is a combination of a 2D, 3D image. The 2D is a standard views along with 3D, which does a slices through the breast, common like a CT would gives the radiologist more images to look at. The process isn't painful, a little uncomfortable, but very quick. Yeah. When they come in, we say that the compression is going to come down slowly, and then we can use the hand crank to do it a little bit tighter. And we just ask them throughout the procedure how they're doing. That's really the most important is communication. Small and large, it doesn't matter. It's breast sensitivity. I think that's what it boils down to. So you have to really work with the patient and make sure that they're comfortable. Set. You're all set. After I'm done, I meet with Dr. Denise Reddy, head of women's imaging and also my mammography doctor. She explains when women can get results. So at SMILE, we have a program called Same Day Answers and they have the option of waiting about 10 minutes after their mammogram so that they can get the results. We then look at my imaging. You're actually looking at the results. Tell me what you're seeing here. This, this is, th these are my results. Right, so this is your mammogram. Um, what we have is we have four pictures, as you can see. We have a view on the left and the right from top to bottom and a side view of each of your breasts. And when I'm looking at the mammogram, I'm looking at a couple of things. I'm looking for calcifications, which look almost like little grains of salt sprinkled on the exam. And when I looked here, I didn't see any. I'm looking for masses. So I'm looking for little nodules and what shape they might be. I'm looking for things that might be different from one breast to the other. And then we also like to compare from year to year. So it helps us look for subtle changes. Density is important. Density means the mixture that you have in your breast of dense tissue and fatty tissue. And density in itself isn't abnormal, but the problem is, is it sometimes can make your mammogram harder to read if you have a lot of dense tissue. Dense tissue is white on the mammogram and cancers can be white. Um, experts do not agree on whether or not women should have supplemental screening in addition to a mammogram if they have dense tissue. So you need to talk to your doctor about your personal risk of breast cancer and whether supplemental screening is right for you. Overall, I am in and out in under two hours, but knowing that I'm safe is security. And that's the message Dr. Reddy wants women to know. For all women, it's important to be getting, begin getting mammograms at the age of 40 and to get it every year. And the reason why we recommend it every year is that that way we can find cancers when they're small. And when they're small and um, we detect them early, then we have a better chance at treating them and we increase the chances of survival from breast cancer. Well, the only tool we have for early detection is a screening mammogram and this is the only tool that's been shown that it will decrease a woman's chance of dying from breast cancer. So it's absolutely important to get a mammogram every year. Two hours of your day that could save your life.